Hi, welcome to Vim Tips. Uh, this is Chong Kim. Okay, so today we're going to uh, concentrate on uh, navigating through files. Actually, we're going to start with Unix and show show you how uh, we na navigate through files using Unix commands. So, I have uh, okay. So I have a directory here, and I want to search for board. So there's a command called grep. So if I go into a specific directory, I could do grep board um, on board.rb. And it shows me nothing. So I can give me, uh, I, so I can use star.rb, or I could use star, since they're all rb files. And I could see the whole result. So let's say that so this is this is good so far, but let's say for example I'm in a, a different directory and I want to find all the occurrences of board, regardless of where it's located. So I I know that there are files in uh, the lib directory uh, that have that has code, and I also know that there's code in the spec directory. So I could just do grep for board on both. Um, on uh, spec and lib. So this is one way to do it. And this this will you can see that the uh, Here's some from lib, and there are some from spec. So that's one way. But the problem with doing it this way is that you'd have to specify the directories. So I'm going to show you a different way that you can do this using find. Find is a Unix command that uh, locates files. It doesn't look at the contents of the files, but it just locates it. So for example, if I just do find dot, this will show me everything. So it'll go into subdirectories as well. So here's the lib, and it went into the subdirectory of lib, and it went through all the directories. I could specify a name, star.rb. I have to backslash this, otherwise um, it'll try to expand the star. I could also do it this way. And let me just clear the clear the, clear the screen. All right, so this this limits it to anything that has the RB pattern. Okay, so there's another Unix command called xargs, and what xargs does is it passes the result of the output. Okay, so the output here is a list of files. And it passes that as it arguments to a command. So uh, I could do ls-l on all of these files. So all of the, 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 the whole list of files are going to be passed in as, as if it was just uh, arguments over here. So let's see what this looks like. So you can see that uh, so there's some in the lib directory and there's some in the spec directory. So to show you more, to show you exactly how it looks, I could do echo, these are my args. And so you could see that it says these are my args and these are what, what get passed into. So it's exactly the same thing as saying, um, like before I, I said ls-l and I just copy and pasted that. So it's the exact same thing as doing this. Okay. So to use it with grep, we can do it this way. You could say find all the RB files, pipe through xargs, grep, and it'll uh, and grep for a pattern. So the pattern is bored. And the rest of the arguments are going to be placed over here. So I have my result. This so this is one way to um, find 
all the occurrences of board in all your subdirectories. Okay, all right. So the, actually, uh, before I um, get off the topic of find, there's, uh, there's another way that you could do this without using xargs. The problem with using xargs okay, is that it actually passes all the arguments right here, but there's a limit to how big that, that can be. So if you have thousands of files, this is not going to work because uh, it'll say the argument list is too long. So the, to get around this, there is an option to find called exec. So once it finds these files, it'll, it'll execute this command, and the command that you're going to use is grep. And the argument is uh, actually we're going to look for a board, and this is a placeholder specifying the file name. So it'll go through each of those files and uh, place it over here. And you need to terminate the command with a uh, semicolon. So I'm, I'm backslashing the semicolon, otherwise the shell will interpret this as um, uh, end of command. Um, but I want to actually pass this into find. If I, if I don't do this, it'll be eaten up by the shell. Okay, so, okay. The problem with doing it this way is that it's doing it individually for each file. And when that happens, there's no file name associated with it. It just it just looks for it because grep notices you're only looking at one file, so it doesn't specify, it doesn't print out the file name. So there's a capital H option to grep that uh, tells it to print out the file name. Okay, so now we have the same result. So this is actually better because if you don't know how many arguments you're going to have, you don't run into any problems when you do this. Uh, plus, another thing is, uh, this isn't just for grep, you can use this for any other command. Um, so, uh, it's very flexible. Um, so, obviously, uh, doing it this way is very verbose. It's very powerful, but um, to, do, to, do, to do this every day, it's, it takes a lot of keystrokes. You could make it into an alias, or there's a there's a Unix command that you can uh, install. It's not installed by default, so you have to brew install ack. I already have ack installed, so it'll tell me that ack is already installed. So with ack, it does the same thing. It does probably about 99% of what what you want to do. So if you say ack board, it'll look through all of your uh, subdirectories and look for board and highlights it and breaks it up into files. So this is very convenient. And um, let's say that if I had different files, I could, sp like for example, if I had HTML files, I, I could have done it this way. Um, and I could show you that this, this actually works by creating an HTML file. Uh, I'll, I'll create uh, uh, HTML file and I'll put board right here is okay so now if I do ack board uh, by itself I get a whole bunch but if I want to limit it to HTML I can just say HTML and there it is this is my HTML file and if I want to exclude HTML, I could just say no HTML. And this does everything except for the HTML file. Uh, you could do a man on ACK once you get it and, and find out how to use it by just going through the man pages. So that's one way. But that's inconvenient because if you're using Vim, you have to go back and forth between the shell and your Vim. And you have to look for the file and um, and then actually go there. So you would have to go to. Um, let's see where am I? Oh. Okay, so you can see already that this is taking way too long. And here I am, and I could look for board, and there's board. Okay, 
that um, that takes way too long and so there's a faster way okay, let's go all right so uh, going back to grep uh, there is a grep command so here if I do a grep for ACK and I have to specify the file name and if I use percent that means the current file name and that gives me a list um, it shows me the list down here but it's also inconvenient because uh, it's just printing it out so once you do that grep you have op you have open to you have access to C open and that shows you a uh, the results so you have to do the grep first in order to do the C open and you can uh, press carriage return press carriage return uh, over here uh, there's a quicker way you can use CN and CP so if I am here and I type CN for next oh, I'm actually at the the last one already so I, let me do CP if I do CP it'll go to the first one and if I do this CN it goes to the next one so you can go back and forth between CP and CN like that within the same file and if you want to if you're done you can do C close and and you're back okay the next thing is the next uh, two things that you can do to replicate the Unix commands is to download um, ACK and there's another one uh, where I'll show you later okay so ACK you can find it on github ACK.vim once you have this installed uh, you should by now know how to install it using pathogen by going into a bundle and uh, doing a, a git clone and once you restart the once you restart your vim uh, editor you can now do things like this ack actually let me just go to the uh, I don't want to go through my whole subdirectory using from my root I'll just go to my tic-tac-toe directory and do a search for board oh it's it's not lowercase a it's capital A so it does the search for me and now I could do CN over here and uh, go through or I can just come down here and just select it individually like this so this is a really quick way of of just going through your files and just finding what you need. So this is ACK. Let me go back to my notes. Okay. The next thing is uh, search fold. Again, you can go to GitHub and download uh, search fold .vim. Once you have that installed, uh, the instructions here say to use uh, to use Z after you do a search. So let's do that. So once I'm here, uh, let me do a C close. Okay. For folding, actually, okay. So I can I can do this. Um, I could search for ACK and I see three places where there's ACK and then I do uh, backslash backslash is my leader so backslash Z and everything gets folded and you can see just the results so you don't have to you, ha you don't have to go through the the C open C close it's right there and if you want to open this up, all you have to do is just um, maneuver 
in this block. So here's my fold, and if I just go left and right, it just opens up. So that's that's a quick way of, of doing it. There are other ways that you can open and close, and you might want to find out how to use fold. I think I have a, uh, a, a Vimcast on this, so um, if I don't, then I'll make one. So that's one quick way of um, searching through. Um, here's a, let me go to my, one of my files. Oops. Um, let me go through human player. I have two human players. Just go through one of them. Actually, I want to go through the other one. So here, actually, let me go through the okay. Let me go through here because I want to choose a longer piece of code. So this is really long, and what I want to do is I just want to see all the functions. So this way I can. Uh, maneuver uh, much better. So you, I could do a search for def because that that is how I define a function, and then I do um, oh backslash z. And so there's this is a really great great way of just looking at uh, all the all the functions that you created. And, and you can just go back and forth. All I'm doing is going left and right when I'm over here. There's another way that you can do it using ZO. So you can do ZO also. So, so that is it. That's how you can maneuver just like you can do it through Unix.